Welcome back to Top Dog's Tips. Thanks for joining us for this video. Today we're going to talk about and focus on why dogs can be so itchy and some of those most common causes. Consistent itching and scratching in dogs is a valid and common concern for most pet owners. It's normal for dogs to experience some kind of skin irritation at one point or another, but in certain cases, dogs' itchy skin problems can be severe and cause serious stress and discomfort to your pet. If you've noticed your dog experiencing a lot of itchiness on a regular basis, it's time to take action. In addition to speaking with your veterinarian, we've listed five things for dogs' itchy skin that you can do to help relieve your pet's discomfort and stop that irritating itching. All dogs are different and the same goes for their skin. What works for one dog may not help another. For some, just a simple home remedy for itchy skin or switching to a medicated dog shampoo can suffice, while other cases may require stronger treatments from a veterinarian. Having a few tricks up your sleeve means you can soothe your itchy dog and help him feel comfortable again. First, we need to talk about why your dog might be itchy. Dog itchy skin can be caused by various things, some of which have been extensively researched in scientific studies. These studies show that the most common causes in dogs' dry skin are one, seasonal changes, two, fleas, three, ticks, four, allergic environmental dermatitis, and five, canine nutritional dermatitis. First, let's talk about seasonal changes. You're more likely to notice this in extreme weather seasons like the hottest months of the summer and the coldest months of the winter, but there are other causes too. If you live in an area with consistently low humidity, for example, you may have noticed that your dog's skin is very dry. This can affect anywhere from a small area to a very large part of your dog's body. The best way to avoid dry skin on dogs is to keep them well hydrated. Veterinarians warn that some of the causes of a dog's dry skin, of which dog itchy skin is one of the symptoms, may be very serious and dangerous to a pet's health. Usually if your dog's itchiness is severe and doesn't go away, you'll need to do tests at your local vet clinic to rule out any serious health conditions. Of course, one of the first and most common obvious causes of itching in dogs is fleas. These small insects have become synonymous with the bites, rashes, and frustrating itch on dogs that come along with such an encounter. Dogs are especially susceptible as they're lower to the ground and closer to vegetation, which is where fleas tend to wait in ambush. The actual itching associated with fleas is known as flea allergy dermatitis and is usually caused by the flea's saliva. The saliva gets on and inside the dog's skin after being bit by the flea, resulting in a hypersensitive reaction. Extreme and sometimes painful itching usually occurs, along with a bite bump and some signs of dermal irritation around the wound. The inflamed response that's so characteristic of flea bites can form in as little as 15 minutes after being bit to as much as 48 hours after being bit. Since every dog is different in both anatomy, size, height, and weight, and physiology, like how each individual responds to stress, the reaction time is gonna vary. But make no mistake, it will appear sooner or later. The problem with fleas is that they can reproduce at such a fast rate that it's not just a matter of dealing with a single flea, but you must also deal with its buddies and all of their eggs. The first step is going to be to get your dog into the bath, give them a quick flea bath to get rid of any debris from the coat. This will make it tougher for fleas to hide and it'll be easier for you to treat your pet, which we'll talk about later on in this video. A more dangerous parasite that's on every pet owner's mind is the tick. Unlike fleas, ticks have become synonymous with disease and death in both dogs and humans. While some may claim that it's merely Lyme hysteria, the fact remains that Lyme disease is very real and is transmitted by ticks. If the answer to your question, why is my dog itching, happens to be ticks, it will likely cause a bit of panic. Besides Lyme disease, ticks are also a vector of a host of other diseases. Southern Tick-Associated Rash Illness, also known as S-T-A-R-I, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, also known as R-M-S-F, Ehrlichiosis, and Tularemia can also be carried by ticks. Besides the rashes and itching that are indicative of their presence, these diseases can also bring with them fever, chills, aches, and pain. Much like fleas, ticks easily find their way onto dogs due to the canine's proximity to the ground and brush, as well as dog hair providing an easy attachment point. While it may be logical to think that the majority of ticks would be concentrated on your dog's legs, shoulders, and muzzle, it's been observed that ticks are pretty much evenly distributed over the entire body. However, studies have shown that flea larvae are usually found in the dog's ears, which are moist and sheltered. Treatment for ticks is a bit trickier than you would think. There are several species of ticks and each can carry a different disease than the other. The main step to take would be to prevent getting your dog bit by ticks in the first place. Also, speak with your veterinarian to see if there are any tick-borne diseases in your area and any areas where you may be visiting and exploring with your dog. While you're at it, talk to your vet about tick preventatives. Another common cause of itching in dogs 
is allergic environmental dermatitis. Dogs exposed to mites in their environment often bring about an allergic reaction that causes them to itch uncontrollably. This condition has been dubbed canine atopic dermatitis, or CAD, and has been studied extensively over the last decade. If you suffer from allergies, you know how frustrating it can be to deal with. Now imagine that same feeling, only you're not able to convey it to anyone besides your scratching. This is how dogs with canine atopic dermatitis feel. And one other common cause of itching that a lot of pet owners still don't suspect is canine nutritional dermatitis. It may be as simple as the food you're feeding your dog. However, many dog owners would never even consider this as a possible cause of itching in their pets. Where allergen-based dermatitis in dogs is inflicted by the external world, nutritional dermatitis occurs when a dog's system is afflicted by something he has ingested. Other symptoms of canine allergies can include itchy red eyes, a runny nose, sneezing, itchy ears, frequent ear infections, and diarrhea. Food allergies are not unique to humans. Dogs can also display sensitivity to different types of foods, and in turn, this causes what is known as nutritional dermatitis. There's no broad stroke definition or list of foods to avoid, as nutritional dermatitis can be triggered by different foods depending on the dog. While there are labeled hypoallergenic dog food brands, none of them are actually 100% hypoallergenic for dogs. We know that allergic reactions usually trigger a histamine release in dogs, which causes inflammation, redness, swelling, and itching. So battling nutritional dermatitis in dogs is a matter of managing or preventing histamine release. Some home remedies that I recommend, first of all, try baking soda. A natural itch remedy for pets is baking soda. It's great because it's versatile and usually something you already have on hand. It's very cheap and an easy option if your pet is suddenly attacked with severe itching. For bug bites or concentrated areas of irritation on your dog, you can make a baking soda paste with water, which is very simple. After that, just put a thick layer of the paste over the irritated area on your dog's skin and let it sit for about 20 minutes. Hang out with your dog so he doesn't try to lick the mixture off, rendering it ineffective and also possibly causing a stomach ache. After waiting, rinse it off with water. There should be no more itching after that. For dogs that have itchiness problems all over their bodies, prepare a slightly warm bath, add one cup of baking soda to the tub and mix it into the water. Place your dog in the water and let him soak for a little bit. You can gently massage his coat to work the baking soda through all of his fur and onto his skin. Number two, hydrocortisone cream is often effective if the itching is due to a bug bite or allergic reaction, hydrocortisone cream can be a good solution to relieve your dog from itchiness. It should not be used on a regular basis for something like dry skin on dogs as a tolerance can build up and its effectiveness will be reduced. Hydrocortisone is a very popular product for various skin inflammation and itching conditions in dogs and it's often used as a dog ear infection treatment as well. This cream can be purchased over the counter and you can use the same kind that humans do. However, there are certain brands of hydrocortisone cream that are designed specifically for dogs and are available for purchase. All you have to do with the cream is to put a small amount on the affected area of your dog's skin and rub it in gently for a few seconds. Be aware that your pup may decide to lick off the cream and can still scratch the area. So stay with your dog to keep him from licking it for now. When you're using any type of topical treatment for dog's itchy skin, it's always a good idea to keep an eye on him and try to encourage him to leave the area alone in order to let the medication work. It can also be dangerous for pets to consume some of these products, so you want to make sure that you stay with them for at least 20 minutes to allow the product to absorb into the skin and prevent the licking. The third home remedy for itchy skin, believe it or not, is brushing your dog regularly. It's a simple and easy trick that's very effective for dog itchy skin. It's also possibly the cheapest method on the list. If your pet has dry skin and dandruff trouble, a great brushing session is in order. Knocking out all of your dog's loose fur will let his skin receive better airflow, which reduces scratching. Brushing also removes dander, which is a common allergen and irritant. The brushing action will spread your dog's natural oils throughout his fur and over his skin, making it less likely for him to have one specific irritated area. A lot of dog owners have found this to be a good solution for their dog's itchy skin, especially when they suffer from chronic dry skin and itchiness all the time. A lot of it is just dry, itchy skin, so helping to spread those oils and remove that loose fur, aerate the skin a little bit, really helps. Brushing your dog regularly will also stimulate his skin and increase blood flow to the area. This can help the area clear itself out and heal. Brushing one spot will remove any knots and tangles that have built up that may have been causing irritation. Finally, most dogs love being brushed, especially when they're itchy. So when brushing your dog, you always want to be gentle. Brushing too hard can pull fur, break the hairs, or even scratch the skin, leading to further problems and itchiness. Number four on this list of home remedies for itchy dogs is to give them an oatmeal bath. Yes, oatmeal. You might have heard this treatment for humans. It works for dogs too. For dog itchy skin, one of the first things to try is oatmeal. The reason for that is due to oatmeal being very naturally soothing on the dog's skin and coat, and it's also easy to find. 
All you have to do is prepare a slightly warm bath for your pet using oatmeal. You can use regular oatmeal from the grocery store, grind it up at home, or buy oatmeal specifically designed for bathing. Either way, pour the oatmeal into the tub and then let your dog soak for a bit. It'll be an instant relief for his itchy skin. If you need more convenience, try using an oatmeal dog shampoo or even an effective pet conditioner for dogs. This is also a good choice for dogs with chronic itching problems. Using oatmeal-based products not only provides your pup with relief, but it also helps you to know that you're not using something that they might have a reaction to, you're just using a natural product. Finally, you can try antihistamines as a last resort. For really severe itching, over-the-counter antihistamines may be the only solution. This is going to be something similar to Benadryl. Costco's brand Kirkland sells the most popular and cost-effective antihistamines that many owners use for their dogs and cats' allergies. Benadryl for dogs is considered a medication that may affect your pet in different and unpredictable ways. Thus, it's best for you to contact your veterinarian before administering a pill or liquid Benadryl to any pet. Although Benadryl is generally safe for dogs, the correct dosage is crucial. The most common dosage for something like Benadryl is about a half to one milligram per pound of dog's body weight. But don't take my word for it. A quick call to your local veterinarian or an emergency clinic in your area will give you the proper dosage for your dog. Such a small dosage also means that you may need children's varieties of this medication since most adult Benadryl tablets are stronger and bigger. You can also break tablets in half as needed. Only give your dog a dose of Benadryl every eight hours. This medication is likely to make him a bit sleepy and loopy, so keep an eye on him to make sure he's doing fine and stays safely indoors. Wrapping up this video, we must recognize that dog's itchy skin is common. All dogs scratch at some point, it's part of being a dog. But if your pet's excessively itching and biting his skin and fur, it may be time to find some effective solutions to deal with this. All of the methods that I mentioned above are likely to help most dogs to relieve itchiness and feel more like their usual self. If none of these solutions work or if your pet's condition worsens, contact your veterinarian as soon as possible. You can check out our extensive articles on itchy dogs on our website at topdogtips.com. We have many different articles on why your dog might be itchy, some of those underlying causes, and lots of different remedies, both home remedies, over-the-counter and vet-recommended remedies on our website. So again, topdogtips.com if you want some more information. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends, family, and fellow pet owners. If you liked this video, you can also subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all of the tips and tricks that we share for pet parents and pet lovers. You can also subscribe to our email newsletter for daily tips and tricks in raising healthy, happy dogs. Thanks for watching.